Hey everyone, I'm coming at you from beautiful Lodge at Torrey Pines in La Jolla, California. And I just want to give you a little recap on what the first 19 or so hours of the SPNW retreat has been like. Uh, we arrived yesterday about 5 p.m. in the afternoon and um, we got some swag delivered to our rooms. Including but not limited to some Mission Skincare samplings. This is a line of product that is created by athletes for athletes. Um, for example, here's some refreshing foot therapy created by Gretchen Blyler, snowboarder extraordinaire, and Serena Williams. Uh, we've got some ultra hydrating hand and body lotion developed by Serena Williams and Mia Hamm. And we've got some face moisturizer. There was a lip gloss that came with it. Got a fancy uh, new age futuristic looking water bottle with the ESPNW logo. Uh, let's see, what else do we get here? Oh, here are my clothes that are hanging up drying after a two hour Navy SEAL boot camp did this morning with about 34 other women and men. Um, Summer Sanders, Gretchen, Gretchen Blyler. Uh, we worked hard, everybody worked together. It was a great team building exercise. The SEALs were very impressed with us. Um, the bus driver was not impressed with our sand and sweat and um, seawater we were dripping on his bus. Um, let's see, what else have we gotten? Very nice Nike bag. Tiny little box you open up. No, it's not baby shoes. Basically, it's a card you send in with your size and they send you a free pair of shoes. A sports bra. This thing right here is Miss Allison Felix on an iPod Touch. Uh, I know iPod Touch and Nike have partnered to get a new app put together that's supposed to help you work out. Love seeing Allison on here. Wish she was here in person though. Hi Allison. Another fancy dancy water bottle. We've got Lululemon yoga mat. Um, here's the packet they gave us. We got a schedule that's pretty full here so far. We've had the welcome reception. A great opening panel discussion with um, Layla Ali, Gretchen Blyler, Jenny Finch, Shannon Miller, moderated by ESPN's Hannah Storm. Um, we talked about many things related to the female athlete and the woman sports fan, including but not limited to uh, sexuality, um, feeling the pressure to use it. Um, we talked about making women's sports um, appealable to the masses, how we do that, how we get in front of their face and show them that um, it's every bit as exciting as everything else that they watch on TV, they just don't know about it yet. Um, kind of uh, the diamond in the rough. And um, we had a great welcome dinner and cocktail reception. This morning some people got up early for sunrise yoga with Lululemon Athletica. I was not one of those people. Um, but I did have breakfast and listened to Billie Jean King and Julie Foudy uh, discuss with Sage Steele Basically, the opportunities we have here to really make history and, um, you know, bring about a new brand and website and network and community, whatever it ends up being ultimately, um, that is for the female athlete and the fans of female athletes. And as Billie Jean continued to tell us, once an athlete, always an athlete, and that we need women and men to be supporting women um, in order to take our country to the next level, continue to grow as people um, across the entire world. Um, both genders are important, and she really stressed the importance of both genders supporting women, not just women supporting women. Here are some other notes I took from BJK. I'm probably butchering some of her quotes, so I should just read them from all these notes I took. Um, Julie Foudy really talked about how she was a mentor to the women's soccer team. Billy J Jean King told them, what do you want for the next generation? And are you going to let them down? And um, she, you know, when, talk, when we were talking about money and demanding the same money as men, Billie Jean King said, it is about the money because the money sends a message. So don't apologize for asking for more money. Stop apologizing for your um, downfalls and imperfections. Men never do that. Why do women do that? Um, let's see. She also said, you have to think long term. Don't be a wussy. Uh, and she had a she had a little soliloquy on crumbs versus cake. Women are supposed to be so happy with the crumbs, so grateful. We want the cake and the icing, and Julie added, and the cherry on top. Um, let's see, what else we got here? Hopefully I'm going to fill this entire book with notes while we're here. Um, we got an ESPNW bag over here. Had a bunch of goodies in it, um, which included Billie Jean King's book, Pressure is a Privilege which really embodies um, 
what she has done with her life as a pioneer in women's sports. Um, she took she took the pressure of you know taking on a male athlete in the same sport, and she followed through on it and lived up to her promise and has continued to be a pioneer ever since. Um, we've got a Jewel CD and the making of Jewel and Sweet Wild, which I believe is a preview for the fact that Jewel is going to be doing a private concert for us tonight. Very excited about that. And um, for now, that's it. I'm going to get going because lunch is next. I'm going to try to upload this beforehand, and I hope I have a lot to tell you about later.